Hey, welcome to another update. Sorry for the delay in this update. It's nice and simple, but I think it's added a lot of value to the project, I think. So let's get right into it. Main change for this update is the Pip-Boy inventory. So I've actually redone the whole user interface and as you can see, it's a lot cleaner. Uh, so I basically just use the transfer menu as a base. I try to make the most of my space because obviously we have a lot more space, but I'm trying to like not bombard the player with too much text, but obviously provide enough text so that they can actually see what's going on. It's just a lot nicer on the eye and I'm happy with how it turned out. I then got to work on fixing some bugs, as you may have seen in the previous update. Uh, this quantity transfer modal, the buttons at the bottom do not actually work. Uh, the keys work, but the buttons didn't, so that was a nice quick fix. And the other thing was the scroll wasn't uh, working properly on the quick loop menu. So every time you open your transfer menu and had to refresh, it basically remembered the scroll, but still selected the top item, so it looked like you didn't have anything selected. Um, and obviously the scroll was broken when you tried to take items too. So that's nice and fixed. I then moved on to doing the buffs. So the buffs actually load, um, but they don't actually apply anything at the minute. So it's literally just uh, what you can see on the screen right now. Um, I think this was the easiest way to do it. So you can see it shows you how much it heals um, per second and how many seconds the buff lasts for. I think this is the best way I could think, but if you think of a better way, then obviously just let me know. So I then moved on to something pretty cool, um, something I played around with in the past but never really properly implemented and that's a vaulting system and a climbing system. So obviously when we get up to a ledge, um, we can just hit spacebar to climb that ledge. I feel like Fallout lacked this um, and their fix was basically just to increase the jump height. <laughs> but I feel this change has made, it, made the world feel a little bit more responsive, being able to climb and vault things and I'm quite happy with the results. The system is built off a combination of checks. I have to manually place the triggers to allow the player to vault or climb an object, which uh, I was against at first, but I like having full control over it, so I decided it's not, not such a bad thing. The way I've built the system is it actually calculates the height of the object that I place the trigger on, so it's dynamic and works with any object height. Obviously there's a max height. And that's the same with the vaulting as well. If the surface on the other side of the vault is a little bit of a different height, um, it'll cater for that, which is pretty neat. So again, I'm really happy with how this turned out um, and I just love how smooth it feels. Uh, I'm gonna have to implement some animations later on, um, but I'll deal with that when, when it comes to it. All of this is hooked up to a Boolean as well, so if I wanted to turn it off, I can. So the last thing I wanted to kind of show you guys is our first NPC. This is little old Dave, even though he's a uh, cube. Um, when I interact with Dave, basically if I hold F, it goes into trade, which you'll recognize as the transfer menu. Uh, the transfer menu is actually built to accommodate for basically a, a merchant as well. So the main difference you can see right now is that it shows the amount of caps Dave has in the bottom right of his inventory. Um, but aside from that, it works exactly the same as the transfer because I still have a lot to do on this stage. So unfortunately that is it for this update. I'm sorry about the lack of progress on this update. However, make sure you have your notifications turned on because the next update is going to be breathtaking. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next update.